There are only a handful of countries in the entire world known for their commitment to the highest quality health care. Canada is one of those few. The Medical Council of Canada plays a key role in ensuring our high standards are continuously met. Every year, thousands of potential doctors, both here and abroad, take the MCC proficiency exams. If they are successful, they are conferred the qualification Licentiate of the Medical Council of Canada. Well, the Medical Council of Canada provides a national qualification for doctors which allows them to practice in all provinces and all territories and that feeds into a key Canadian value of universal health care. The MCC's 51 members meet annually to set policy. Together, they represent medical regulatory authorities from each province and territory, medical schools, residents, students and members of the public. Each brings a crucial viewpoint to the discussion. I think it's really important for students to have a voice on the Medical Council of Canada because the services and examinations that um, the Medical Council provides directly affects our education and what we do in the future. Just over 100 years ago, things were very different. We were mostly a nation of immigrants, separated by large distances, poor transportation, and lack of access to affordable health care. Modern medicine was in its infancy. Tuberculosis and cholera bacilli had just been discovered. Pasteurization was a new idea, and it was radical to suggest that doctors wash their hands before delivering a baby. By the early 1900s, medical schools had replaced the tradition of doctors learning through apprenticeship. But there was no national standardized assessment of competency and one province often didn't recognize credentials from another. In 1901, one man, physician and MP, Dr. Thomas Roddick, summed up his frustration with this state of affairs in a speech to Parliament. Nothing can be more a violation of peace, order and good government than the fact that a medical man cannot cross an imaginary line between the provinces without running the risk of being fined, perhaps imprisoned when he is attempting to save the lives of citizens of Canada. Roddick and his colleagues fought non-stop for change, and 12 years later, success was realized. In 1913, in Montreal, the first national exam to assess physician competency was held, and the Canada Medical Register was born. Roddick's name was inscribed first, followed by the rest of the founding council. Today it has grown to hold over 114,000 names and is a priceless record of Canada's medical community. Having the MCC licentiate today proves to Canadians, no matter where they are, from the largest city to the smallest town, that their doctors are all held to the same high standards. In Roddick's day, the Council's exams included subjects as diverse as midwifery and gynecology and hygiene and state medicine. Competency testing included questions such as draw a cross-section of the spinal cord and explain what are the means of purifying air in buildings. Much has changed over the years, including security and identification procedures. Ensuring people are who they say they are and that their education credentials are unquestionable is at the core of the MCC mandate. Since the 1960s, the exams changed in two major ways. Uh, first is with our written exam. It's no longer written, it's computer administered and we use a better format of questions to test people's knowledge. The other is we've added a clinical skills component where we assess people interacting with people trained to play the patient role and so we have a better sense of their skills in, uh, in that live sense, not just paper. Close to 11,000 candidates take the Medical Council's exams every year, here in Canada and in 80 other countries. The Council takes great care in developing, offering and marking its exams. Groups of doctors meet regularly to confer and fairly assess candidates' exam responses. The MCC has an international reputation assessment 
They were the first organization to institute a national clinical skills evaluation in 1992. In 1998, the Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates in the United States modeled their exam after the MCC. 100 years ago, it took the passion and energy of one man, Sir Thomas Roddick, to start the Medical Council of Canada's journey. Today, it's grown to become a world-class organization that has changed the face of healthcare, and Canadians have confidence that their medical standards and quality of care are easily amongst the best in the world. World-class standards that clearly matter every day to all of us.